Marketing is an experience. Your brand is an experience. And people take in information and experience things through all five senses. Sensory branding is the type of marketing that uses the senses to connect with customers on an emotional level. The goal is to give your brand a deeper emotional connection by stimulating the senses, which in turn makes it more memorable and drives action. Let's talk about the power of scent first. Scent is an excellent memory enhancer for a brand. The section of our brain that processes smells is part of our brain's limbic system, which is involved in memories and emotions. An experiment was done where test subjects were given pencils. Some were scented with a tree oil and some were unscented. It was found that imbuing pencils with the unusual scent of tea tree oil dramatically increased research subjects' ability to remember the pencils brand and other details, whereas those given unscented pencils experienced a 73% decline in the information they could recall two weeks later. Subjects given tea tree scented pencils experienced a decline of only 8%. In the retail industry, sensory marketing may show up through the use of relevant scents in stores. For example, Lowe's uses the scent of freshly cut wood and Australian swimwear and clothing company Tiger Lily uses candles that smell like coconut and lime. Food and beverage retailers may hide certain smells and accentuate other scents instead. For instance, Starbucks emphasizes the smell of coffee in stores while hiding the smell of food that they sell. In Korea, Dunkin Donuts ran a marketing campaign where they had an atomizer that released a coffee aroma and then the jingle played on buses resulting in a 16% increase in store visits and a 29% increase in sales at stores near bus stops. Outside of retail, Singapore Airlines uses a floral and citrus scent on its planes to remove the smell of stale air, reduce anxiety, and improve the customer experience. Casinos have also noticed that using floral scents got customers to spend about 45% more money at, while playing. As an artist, how can you take advantage of sensory branding? Consider making scents a part of your live show through the use of an atomizer, diffuser, cologne, or a spray. Connect a scent to a song and have that scent released into the crowd during that song. The Sydney Art Quartet did something similar to this for a series of concerts. Due to the nature of the concert, the quartet was able to hand out sheets of paper with individualist scents and inform the audience of which scent aligned to each song in addition to the story behind it. Companies have found that using scents has increased sales significantly, so consider utilizing scents at your merch booth. Light a candle, use incense, or spray a fragrance. You can even go further and create a special scent and sell a candle or diffuser oil as merch aligned to your brand. If you're going to use scents, remember to keep it simple. Simple smells have been found to be most effective. Additionally, the scent should correspond with the product in this case your music, and at times the surroundings. So using a scent of freshly cut grass may not work well in a dark alcohol filled dive bar as it could in a greenhouse bar or a courtyard. Watch out for conflicting scents. Too many scents in one location can confuse the nose or result in making the area smell bad, which then creates a negative experience. Because you have sound covered with your music, and we've covered the benefit of using scent, and sight is naturally targeted with your overall visuals, let's cover touch. You can engage fans with touch by leveraging the merchandise you make and the packaging you use to ship it. For example, you can create your merch with an aligned look and feel, meaning that the item feels exactly how you expect based off the look. Think of a plush stuffed animal. It looks soft, and when you touch it, it feels as soft as it looks. Or instead, you can make the look and feel misaligned so that the customer is surprised at the touch. For example, you can create a phone case that looks plastic, but when you pick it up, it has a metallic feel. That would be a product exemplifying misaligned sight and touch. Some brands have incorporated touch by making products, usually cosmetic and hygiene products, that heat up and let people know when it's working. Even though many times the heat doesn't actually have any utility for the product, it instead has a psychological utility for the customer. So what about taste? The relationship between sound and taste has been studied a lot recently by scientists, chefs, and psychologists. 
That relationship is a very interesting one where sound can enhance the flavor, improve the tasting experience, or in the right circumstances, create an emotional experience. Because of this unique relationship, it has tons of opportunities to explore with restaurants, breweries, wineries, brands, and overall experiences. This relationship between taste and sound and and how artists can take advantage of those opportunities in unique ways is something I'll be exploring in a future video. So what does this all mean? As artists, you should think about how to innovate and redesign the experience you give your fans by appealing to as many senses as possible. If you can effectively create an experience that appeals to multiple senses, you will be more memorable to the audience and you will connect with them on an emotional level. Emotion is the cornerstone for a fan's experience with your brand. As an added bonus, you might potentially sell more merchandise and music. It's not easy to effectively layer multiple sensory stimuli. You want to balance all the senses so that you don't cause sensory overload. However, if you can find a way to subtly add sensory appeals, you can enhance the experience of your shows, music, and events, which can go a long way in making you an artist and brand that stands out.